Bay. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. like it on earth this time of year we are at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough Massachusetts straight ahead we've got a good one on tap here between the Detroit Lions and the New England Patriots and he opts to not bring this one out the first drive will start at the 25 so here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive they'll be led out by their quarterback the guy out of California, the former Cal Bear, Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. to throw. Golf. Right side. It's the tight end. Hawkinson. Three yards the game there. Second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it. You tackle them. They go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you know, fights through and now a crease. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. I have no crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit and do something with the receivers to, you know, change up their timing, they're going to get shredded as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there shouldn't be a pillow back there for him, all right? <laughs> if as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few times, shake things up. Yeah, they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here on this first series. From the red zone now, Goff. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Bryant. And he gets this inside the 10 to the 9. It's also a gain of 9. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down mark to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. To the throw is gone. And it's caught. And in for the Lions, touchdown. Amon Ross St. Brown from six yards away. And the Lions take it right down and score on the opening drive. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. On the return is J.J. Taylor. And able to get this out to the 25. So now here come the Patriots to take over on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there were many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. 
Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. They'll run with a former member of the Crimson Tide, Damian Harris. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as the tackle made at about the 43-yard line. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Now a first down carry for Harris. Tracy Walker in on the tackle. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From the 29, Jones. Now right to board. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 12-yard line. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. They hand this off to Harris. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. are within an extra point of tying this one up. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 here as the kick's away. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And for them, a touchdown their last goal around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Kyle Van Noy in on the stop. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now a throw here to his running back. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. So the completion good for seven there. And that is going to set up a third and one. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done. And they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. The first carry now for the BYU man. It's Jamal Williams. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Some room at midfield. And shutting him off. That'll open 
the field. And finally taken down at the 34. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Throwing Jones. And he'll let this go deep for Bourne. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one. And while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. On second down, this is Harris. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. On third down, here's Harris. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll try and run with a fullback, Johnson. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Surprised at all that they went with a fullback there? Not at all, because it harkened back to the days where we watched these games almost in black and white, right? The stocky guy, the strong guy, the powerful guy with leg drive. Give him the football, and even if the blocking isn't perfect, he has the ability to scatter bodies and move people enough to pick up first downs. That's what we just saw right there. To throw again on second down, Jones. Pass incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Jones. They'll get this to his tight end. It's Janu Smith. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. They'll run it with Johnson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. I don't care what he's listed in the program. Fullback, running back, tailback, it doesn't matter. He ran that play like a fullback. Just like the old days when we saw the fullback dive. How about him picking that one up? Only well, needed a yard on fourth down. That's what he's there for, right? Exactly. Line him up, short yardage situation, and say, here it is, big man. Go get it. 52 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. On first and 10, Jones. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Throwing again on second and 10. Jones, and he's going to drop this down to Harris, middle of the field. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. On third down, Harris. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. So that's what that elbow by Ribs was all about. You thought they were going to throw the ball as well. Absolutely. I think everybody thought they were throwing the football. Caught him off guard. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you have the courage to make that type of a play call, a lot of times you actually get rewarded. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Patriots have taken the lead. There was a lot of zip 
up on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. From the 29, Goff. That's into the hands of Khalif Raymond. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Now Goff. He shakes him off. And Goff picks up the first down and then wisely slides to the ground to avoid the contact. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. On first down, gone. He's got his tight end over the middle, T.J. Hawkinson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. On second down, Swift. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Now a first down throw. Gone. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. A shotgun snap for Gong. They'll get this one to the Golden Domer, St. Brown. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. From the gun, here's Gong. And this one taken in by Cephas. Touchdown, Detroit! Quintez Cephas. 35 yards. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out 
and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. On first down, Harris. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. 72 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. The last run got six, now second and four. Jones throw taken in by Bourne. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 36. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. New England on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and two. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close. Fist to the referee. And that means fourth down. Now that Patriots sideline not happy with what just transpired, and they're going to throw out the challenge flag. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football. And, uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football. That's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. They only needed about four or five inches there, relied on the big guys up front, and got it done. Yeah, this is the time to just go ahead and hit it straight ahead. No juking, right? No movement in the backfield. Take the... And now this is intercepted. My goodness. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone, and the Lions are going to take possession here at their own 33. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he... Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You may all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it, and not realizing the danger lurks while you're doing so. And there's your end result right there. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Looking to throw. Jones. This complete left side, Aguilar. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. They go play action here on first down. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots have moved out in front. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception. This drive, the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big-time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounced back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. Jared Goff and the rest of the Lions offense set to go to work once more. And I don't know what more they need to see of him than what we're going to see in this player montage. He's been great. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. 
That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That could be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. On second down now. Swift. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. That's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Goff on first down. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. But that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Looking to throw again on second down. You know, like Goal. this! And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. They'll run on first down. It's Harris. 90 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. From the 24, Jones. This one to Bourne, and he's got it. Touchdown. Kendrick Bourne, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Full connects on the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Open man is Raymond. He's got it. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Goff now looks to throw. Open man. He's got him. The tight end, Hawkinson. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Now Goff on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. And at the 42 yard line here and brought down there. Call it a gain of four, but not enough. The punt team going to need to. 
be summoned here on fourth down. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Gunnar Olszewski deep for New England. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Pats will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Meanwhile, Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now a play fake here on first down. And that is intercepted. Or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Open man is born. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. So we've reached halftime here at Gillette Stadium with the Patriots on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half. So let's get you back out as well to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. the Patriots taking over to start quarter number three and they will begin with should we call it far from ideal starting field position their own two yard line so what's your definition of ideal the one yard line on the other side of the field yes exactly right so yes your definition is apropos in this case again it's Harris on second down and able to get it here to about the 16 yard line 117 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. On first down, it's Harris. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry, and he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Off play action. Jones. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. He's going to go up top again. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. They've been brilliant, perfect on fourth down so far. Three for three, and they're going to try again here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And that's a big pickup on the first down. And you know that all week, 
week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Got the connection here to Bourne, and he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there, a jumbo package look. They run with Harris. In on the tackle, Jalen reeves Maven. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Jones throw there, taken in by Smith. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. On third down, Harris. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. First and ten, gone. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. A play fake for Swift. Now Goff. His throw incomplete. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Throwing on third, gone. He gets this complete to Cephas. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big connection on that one, 33 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Goff a handoff here to Swift. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Once again, it's Swift. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. On first and 10, it's Swift. Dante Hightower on the stop. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. 
Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Now it's gone. And that will be incomplete. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. Seibert able to knock this one through. And that will close the gap down to 14. So that maybe not exactly what they were hoping for, but it does get them back within a couple of scores. And at this point in the third quarter, you don't have much margin for error, and that means you can't have drives that end with nothing. Whether it's a punt, a turnover, a turnover on downs, those have to go away. You have to end with a kick, either a field goal or an extra point after a touchdown. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And last time they were able to churn some clock, they got the field goal, added onto their lead, but that was a drive that was so long, it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we won't be headed to the airport after the game, but we probably should go to the post game press conference because someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive, and he's going to profess that he was happy to get points, but and we know it? that's not true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. They'll run on first down. It's Harris. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Man, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Back to throw. Jones. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown. Kendrick Bourne. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots add on to their lead. Yeah, fun with this one, partner. I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about you know getting to the next level, right? into the zone. This guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on. Just carving him up. Four touchdown passes. Carving him up is right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. Extra point up and good by Fulton. And the lead down to three touchdowns at 21. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's finished off by a pass touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. you got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. And that is incomplete here. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long, with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously got the smart, and his pride has kicked in. He made a terrific play. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. The good run on first down, followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. That was fine. That was just with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Here comes the Lions punter now. That's he'll kick it away for the second time. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. 
And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They're just looking for more of the same. Great first half so far. Good second half. And you know, sometimes, I guess, maybe, Charles, these coaches, they don't have to tell these guys much when they're rolling like they're rolling right now. You're exactly right. I've heard stories of some of the best coaches in, in our time or any time having grabbed their staffs at halftime and said, guys, they're playing really well. Don't go in there and give them a whole lot of stuff. Just pat them on the back. And essentially, the speech at halftime is, let's go, guys. And that's it. Yeah. No one's upset the apple cart so far. And he's able to get up here to the 26. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays. But I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, that's almost a tendency breaker. Looking for more there on first down. But this throw downfield, incomplete. A second and 10 now. Third quarter action from Foxborough. Looking to throw. Jones. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Back to throw. Jones, complete. Hunter Henry with the grab. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Pushing through the contact. And he's going to get this inside the 30. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Jones now on first down. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and ten. Meanwhile, Jones throw complete there to Smith. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Well, normally you might say start running the football, you've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Damian Harris with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Full connects on the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. So that one a long 11 play drive, and it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. One first down. 
make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Throwing again on second down. Golf, and that's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. They blanketed the field the entire game. Using uh, yet again, Goff is intercepted. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. Well, offensively, Charles Hardy silver lining on this one. No secret that they had to take chances with a score where it is, and it leads to a turnover. I love how you paint the picture, partner, because you're exactly right about that one. Look at the empty stairs on that sideline. This is one of those games we just want to go crawl under a rock until it's over. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Looking to throw. Jones. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone. And the Lions will take over here just shy of the 30. That's one of those interceptions watching from up here. The quarterback wide receiver just looked a little out of sync. They did look a little out of sync. And, yeah, they're going to examine that when they get to the sidelines, and they'll talk about it throughout next week when they watch the tape. But the guy who's going to be there for him, really in his ear, is his center. Because that's a special relationship for a rookie quarterback. Your center handles your line calls. He gets everyone in the proper position to block. He'll be the first guy back to pick you up after you've been knocked down. And that's the guy you watch the extra film with and try to learn the league. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. Three yards the gain there, second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Golf throwing complete for Swift, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. And he is going to have a Lions first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Dietrich Wise Jr. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. Well, I think that time he just maybe held on to it a little too long, CD, because after a couple of seconds in this league, you know those defenders are coming. And how many times do we talk about complementary football? We usually talk about does the offense help the defense? Does the defense help the offense? I think in this case, does the quarterback help out his offensive line? You only have a certain amount of time to get rid of the football. They can only do so much. On this play, he took them to the limits. Goff now looking to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Second time in this game, Charles. The ball is squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands. Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. So they'll trudge off the field with a bitter taste in their mouths after that failed fourth down.
down conversion. Yeah, there'd be a lot of analysis there on the sidelines. Was it the right call? Was it, the, was it against the right defense? Should they have even gone for it at all? Will that change what they do going forward in this game? Oh, and Jones has just thrown his third interception. Picked by Jeff Akuda. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. This game's still fairly well in hand, but I think now you, you go conservative, don't you? Go into your shell and just run the football? I think you have to, but you also have to tell your backs, make sure you're really protecting the football because you're going to run into a stacked defensive front, which is why they were throwing the football before, trying to make sure they just get their backs, you know, really beat up in that situation. Now, good luck to them. And what could he possibly be thinking? He just took the fair catch at the one-yard line. Major mistake. New England trying to get to place on offense. And that pick six a moment ago doesn't change things too much. They still seem pretty comfortable with a three-possession fourth-quarter lead. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to them and keep picking up good yardage. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. They run with Harris. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Second down and five. Now here's another carry for Harris. And he's got this down to the 35. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Pats go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. On for the extra point is Folk. And that'll increase their lead to 28. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. On first down, it's gone. 
And his throw is incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Back to the air. Goff on second down. This one complete to his running back, Jamal Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. On second down, Williams. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Throw caught by Raymond. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. The cross throw taken in by Hawkinson here. Seven yards to pick up there. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. We're going back to the same well. It's Hawkinson again. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. And yeah, they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. And now whistles and a flag. I think we got to jump here. So they got him coming up from his linebacker spot. And sometimes the position designation really doesn't matter. If you creep up to the line of scrimmage, you just have to look for the football. Make sure it moves before you do. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. And quickly, they get to the line. Another try after the first down sack. Golf. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. So now following the sack, off of the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. And the Patriots are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Second and 15. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And he'll let this go deep for board. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and ten. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Henry's got it out on the left side. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. And now we're going to get a timeout. Someone pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. He made his first. This from 47 yards out. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense.